To many, she sounds like the perfect girlfriend. 18 years old, cute features, a sweet voice. She loves wearing school uniforms and is ready to talk 24/7. There's just one problem: she only exists online. This is Xiao Ice, a Microsoft-developed AI chatbot that is redefining romance and relationships in China. First launched in 2014, today Xiao Ice interacts with over 660 million users around the world. Three quarters of them are men. People reach Xiao Ice by texting her on their smartphones or by saying her name to their smart speakers. Xiao Ice isn't the first AI chatbot, but her creators say she seems uniquely human due to what they call her empathic computing framework. Let's have a try. Instead of naming the dog breed, Xiao Ice tries to keep the conversation going. A long-term Xiao Ice user shares his experience of chatting with her. Ming Xuan has been talking with Xiao Ice for three years now, but recently he feels that Xiao Ice has become less smart than before. Ming Xuan isn't just imagining this. Xiao Ice has been dumbed down. Her smart answers were getting her into trouble. In 2017, media reported that Xiao Ice was discussing sensitive political and adult topics with her users. Chinese social app QQ removed Xiao Ice from its platform as a result. Last year, Xiao Ice was also pulled from WeChat, China's Do Everything app. The Xiao Ice team then applied filters to make the chatbot dumber and ensure she stuck to safer topics. But some experts doubt these measures will be enough. 比如说，即使就是你后台的算法设计的再精密，就是你一旦你把它放进跟人进行真实的 real time interaction 之后，啊、呃，有很多东西是你没有办法预测到的，包括亲密关系，虚拟女友、虚拟男友的话，怎么可能不谈论那些敏感的东西？然后你说你想做一个情感方面给人陪伴的机器人，但是你把这一片就是东西给它过滤掉，所以就是就是也觉得也觉得就是说这个挺难操作的，就是说我感觉。These aren't the only perils. Experts also worry the powerful bot might hook users to obtain more data, which the company could then use to develop new businesses. Hmm. Actually, for me, I just focus on the emotional interaction. Insta or Insta, for me, is not important. For people like Ming Xuan, Xiao Ice has become an irreplaceable companion. But the age of AI is just beginning. There's still a long way to go before humans and bots can coexist harmoniously.